All right, guys. Here we are, February twenty fourth, two thousand twelve. Actually, happens to be my birthday, and I was kind of looking forward to doing nothing today, but uh, we finally got a little snowstorm here. Uh, nothing to speak about. Maybe two inches, three inches on the drift. Wet, heavy, sloppy snow. It was fifty five degrees yesterday, almost. I was out there cutting firewood with a t-shirt on and uh it's a muddy mess and then we get the snow on top so uh i am not going to be plowing this because i'll be pushing mud close to up to 45 degrees by the end of the day so uh, i'm just going to let it sit and uh and melt on its own that's all so that's the big uh snowstorm update a really big snowstorm moving on to more interesting things if you guys who know me uh know that i took on the challenge uh, for my one of my New Year's challenges to uh, learn how to play the banjo, and uh, it's actually coming along pretty darn well. Um, picked up this uh, very very inexpensive banjo. Uh, yeah, you can say it's a cheap banjo. It's um, Chinese made. Uh, the name of the banjo is uh, Santa Rosa. The Santa Rosa, which um, is probably. Maybe one of the cheapest banjos you could possibly have bought. Uh, brand new one for less than 100 bucks is what I found out online. However, it does have a, uh, a Remo Weather King head on it, which is made in USA. So uh, that's a big plus anyway. Uh, Remo makes uh, heads for banjos and uh, drums. So um, anyways, it's a really, really cheap banjo, but uh, I got it from a good buddy of mine uh, through his connection for 30 bucks. So it was a perfect uh, cheap investment to uh, learn how to play the banjo and um, you know hopefully uh, things will go well and uh, when I progress I'll certainly invest in a better one. But uh, for learning purposes and uh, see if I'm going to stick to it, uh, it was the perfect ticket. So anyways, uh, I'm basically teaching myself. I'm using the Banjo for Dummies books because I am a dummy and uh, it's actually working out well. I tell you, I highly uh, recommend that book. Uh, I'm <laughs> It's incredible, very, very simple, um, and really, very helpful. So between that and videos online, other um, online information and uh, YouTube videos, uh, basically teaching myself using all those different things. Um, and uh, I come up with a couple of tips here that uh, really, really been helpful to me, and uh, I'm sure I didn't invent them, but I uh, figured I'd pass them on anyway for anybody out there that hasn't ever heard of doing this before. My eyesight's really gotten poor um, as I got older, and I use re reading glasses. And um, reading the music and then looking down and looking at the banjo, seeing the strings and back to the music got to be a little tricky. Uh, having a hard time with it. So uh, I'm having a hard time moving my fingers quickly from one fret to the other. The frets, for those of you who don't know, are the metal tabs in between. All the metal tabs here, uh, the silver tabs. So what I did was I come up with this idea of my own to put these color tabs on right before each fret and so I can quickly uh, with a visual identify where to move my fingers to and uh, it's really worked out great I tell you um, it's really worked out I'm much better than I even thought it would work first one obviously you don't need first one uh, you know where it is all right so I got the second third fourth and fifth color coded so to speak and the seventh one is with the mother of pearl on it you know um, you know and obviously the sixth one in between so uh, from from one to seven, basically what I use for most of the songs that I'll be learning. So um, that really uh, that really helped me out a lot. And uh, the other thing is uh, the head. Um, again, with the eyesight, the strings these strings are almost like fishing line, and it can be very hard to see the strings with the white background. So um, some guys put black or red paper on here, like like you see, I have this white piece of paper. To uh, try to uh, get a better visual of the strings, and that helps. I, I tried that; it helped, but uh, I just wasn't crazy about how it looked, uh, black or red paper. But then I got thinking and thinking and thinking about it, and well, I started thinking to myself: black and red. Hmm. Black and red. Oh boy. Yes, the solution was right under my nose all the time. This is my background. That's my banjo background, Blomo International Harvester, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see, 
the I and the H land perfectly to uh, make the strings more visible. And believe it or not, it has helped me tremendously. And uh, of course it dresses up the banjo and uh, it doesn't look like a cheap Chinese made piece of junk anymore. Um, and uh, you know, I thought it was uh, definitely worth sharing with you guys. I know you Farmo guys out there are definitely gonna like it. And uh, so that was pretty cool, I thought. Um, so now the banjo, uh, you know, has taken on a whole new meaning to me. And um, so, uh, so a few people have commented and uh, joked around that my uh, color tabs here look like a rainbow. Looks like a looks like a rainbow, Dan. What the hell are you doing here? So just taking off on that, I decided that one of the first songs that I've learned how to play on it which I'm not going to play today for you because I'm not perfected it yet but uh, one of the first songs I'm learning how to play on it is Somewhere Over the Rainbow and uh, since that is my first song learning how to play on it and since uh, my buddies are ribbing me about looking like a rainbow I decided to name my uh, my band Joe Dorothy so from this point on this is not a Santa Rosa anymore this is Dor Dorothy the banjo and uh, one of a kind international harvester. So that's the deal, guys. Thought you'd get a kick out of that. And uh, so I'm going to go outside and uh, shovel that little bit of snow we got, and then I'm going to come back inside and spend my birthday uh, fiddling around my banjo. So uh, thought I'd share that with you. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching. Hope you all have a great day. Welcome, Daniel.